this is Daytona. It's a mix of our tillage radish and crimson clover. Now the tillage radish grows very rapidly in the fall, soaks up nutrients. The uh, crimson clover may give some nutrients for it to help the radish grow better if there's not a lot there. But then in the spring, after the radish winter kills, the crimson clover comes to life and it takes atmospheric nitrogen and puts it into the soil. So this mix is really where you're going before something like corn. You really wouldn't want to use this before soybeans because we're trying to get nitrogen into the soil. So we're trying to pick up in the fall any leftover nitrate nitrogen that may be in the soil profile with the tillage radish. And then in the spring, we're trying to enhance that nitrogen availability by growing, by having this uh, crimson clover here. Now, as you can see in the background here, there's a few uh, weeds, some henbit and so forth. And if you've really gone after weed control, if that would be your objective, with this mix, you'd wanna up your rate a little bit. But all that, uh, that being said, we're going after some nitrogen production in the spring. There's a lot of variables into when you control it and uh, when it was planted and so forth as to how much nitrogen is provided. It can be anywhere from 30 pounds, maybe up to 60, 80 pounds, depending on how long you leave it grow. One thing we do know is maximum nitrogen production is achieved right when you see the first flower. Now we're not quite at that stage right now uh, in this picture, but uh, again, you have to manage this according to your local conditions and how much nitrogen you want to have produced.